this just ju just we can we can put in a longer version of this, but the the, the background to this is that um, well, it start for me, for me. It started with um, Sparkle. Sparkle is a remake of Cinderella. Yeah, I remember you were saying that that was uh, you know, that also triggered it because obviously it's something you've seen and, and it's a different version of it and stuff. So yeah. So I started started playing uh, tracks from that, but it never got exhibited as a, as a movie in Exeter. So I just started doing simpler and simpler versions of Cinderella. Yeah, keep it simple. It's called. Keep it simple. Yeah. So eventually I came across um, a DJ, DJ Buttons, yeah. who are, for the purpose of the argument, we're going to assume he's a bloke, a male, okay. a male, male DJ, female, mate. Yeah. but it turned out to be you, Sky. I know it did. <laughs> <laughs> and the, yeah. sto the story was that um, through circumstances they met on a special occasion a wonderful romantic person, but then through circumstances that situation came to an end. It turned midnight or something like that happened. Yeah, it's kind of it's sort of come to true to life for my for me to be honest. The DJ buttons and the situation I was in, it's pretty much what you just nailed. To be honest. Well, that's really why the, how the plot came to me, Scott. Because oh, right, um, yeah. minimum cost, low, very low budget. Because yeah. we, we no with, money. Well, we went with the Southwest Music Awards. Money. The Southwest Music Awards was a special occasion. Yeah. And uh, we didn't have to pay any extra money to be there. To film it or record that. No, that's true. Olive Deville was the special guest. She was, yeah. Who you knew anyway? Oh, uh, well, like I said, I don't think you can say this out, but uh, yeah, I, I dated her for nearly on seven years and um, helped with her music. She helped me with my music, and uh, the idea was put to her for whatever reason. She, you know, it was how it is. Um, the songs that she did over here, um, I wrote one of them, but it was, it was, it was, it's a shame we went to like it did. Um, but then again, that's you know DJ button for you, isn't it? I suppose. <laughs> this is what happens. It does, yeah. It is a big shame, but now I'm, I'm in the UK now, and I'm, I'm, I was chatting to you earlier on about my, my purchase of a cool truck, which the DJ was definitely dry round in. That's not a problem. <laughs> I can put the back of the side. Yeah. Well, look, can we just go, just go go back a bit? Because what 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 uh, I found a problem at that time was when I when I I, I did videos and stuff there. All right, okay. But when I talk, when I spoke to her, she she didn't know anything about it. She didn't she didn't uh, um, she wasn't at all happy with using any of it. Well, I, I put in it a, to in a future sort of production. I put it to I think when you first told me, and at the time it was a bit confusing all around. So that's probably why it didn't come across as being straightforward. Oh, right. Um, but then I chatted to her much later uh, when I kind of got just an idea, and she sort of. Mm, mm. You know, it was very much a if and how type of thing, but because the situation that I'm with her now is, you know, say it's been two years since we've done our bit and recorded, uh, I don't know whether she would actually be in, like to have her stuff put forward, even though some of the songs I could put forward, uh, I wrote and covered them. I'm getting on playing guitar and covered them. Do you know what I mean? So. Well, Scott, what, what I was thinking of doing was after after this show, if we put this show online somewhere, mm. we could send her a link. And um, she might respond in some way. She might get back and say, "Well, you can use the songs," or I would record some talk or something. If she just realises we're going to another production of DJ Buttons, um, I think she want, want to connect with it in any way. Um, I, I mean, she's moved on, so I don't know whether or not because I would be involved with it somewhere that you know, even if she would want to be involved with it because of the the past we had. So that's that's a difficulty part of it. Um, but like I said, if you could find someone who would be the other special guest type of thing, maybe someone else you worked on. I don't know whether she'll come back to you. That's the thing. Well, we'll just let her know what we're doing anyway. You can do, yeah. Because if you give me our time, I'll be coming and telling to you that week. <laughs> I got a nice email from her saying, "What the hell are you doing?" But oh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, but be polite to us, yeah. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how that how that works. How that works. Out. Yeah. But with the um, the DJ button side of it, um, is it a story? He's like on air at the time. Is he doing his radio stuff? And that would be part of it. Yeah. Because obviously be part of it. Okay. But but basically, it's 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 about half of Cinderella. In other words, uh, you get up to the the, the first ball, 
when midnight strikes yeah. and it all stops. Uh, Chris, yeah, you join in. What? Yeah. The two Will's story. Yeah, my story is to use half of it. Yeah, it's pinched off Disney. Don't worry, they don't know nothing about it. Well, half. Disney pinched off. Well, well, yeah, they. Well, yeah. It's, been, it's, it's quite an old story. Yeah. Um, That's what I'm saying. But we can adapt it for, for radio. So it would work as a radio play, I think. But it also works just as a situation. I think radio is all about music. So please enjoy. Uh, this um. oh <laughs> 